Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. I'm Aina Patricia. Today we are going to talk about phenyl and its reactions. Without further ado, let's start. What is phenyl? Compounds in which a hydroxyl group is bonded to an aromatic ring are called phenols. Besides serving as a generic name for the entire family, the term phenyl is also the specific name for its simplest member, monohydroxybenzene, also known as benzenol or carbolic acid. Phenols are similar to alcohols but form stronger hydrogen bonds. Thus, they are more soluble in water than alcohols and have higher boiling points. Solubility and pH of phenol In a test tube, heat a small amount in which about a spatula or 1 ml of phenol with 1 ml of water in a water bath. Test the solution with a blue litmus paper or pH paper, then add in 1 ml of sodium carbonate solution. Observe whether the solution becomes homogeneous at room temperature and after heating. Observation At room temperature, phenyl is insoluble in water. After heating, phenyl is partially soluble in water. After addition of sodium bicarbonate, there is no physical changes. Lastly, the blue litmus paper turns slightly red. In conclusion, in aqueous solutions, phenols are weakly acidic and lower the pH of a solution. Compounds like alcohols and phenols which contain an OH group attached to a hydrocarbon are very weak acids. However, phenol is sufficiently acidic for it to have recognizably acidic properties. A hydrogen ion can break away from the OH group and transfer to a base, for example, in solution in water as in the diagram below. The pH of a typical tablet solution of phenol in water is likely to be around 5 to 6. That means that a very dilute solution isn't really acidic enough to turn the emus paper fully red. Hi everyone, I'm Asia. So, in the next test tube, dissolve a spatula or 1 ml of phenyl in about 2 ml of ether. Then, introduce a small piece of sodium, about half the size of a match stick. And finally, test the released gas with a burning wooden spling. And observing the formation of gas bubbles, extinguishing of a flame, and the production of a popping sound, we can conclude that phenyl can react with sodium metal. Add in a drop by drop and aqueous bromine, which is bromine water solution, in aqueous phenol solution until a physical change is observed. Prepare an aqueous phenol solution by adding 0.5 of phenol and 0.5 of water followed by heating in the mixture in a water bath about 5 minutes. Observation In early stage addition of bromine water, bromine water decolorized. In excess addition of bromine water, white precipitate form at bottom. In conclusion, bromine water undergo reaction with unsaturated compound. Assalamualaikum to everyone. Uh, my name is Suhaila. Today I would like to present about the experiment D. The first step is an aqueous phenol solution was prepared by adding 1 ml of phenol and 1 ml of water. The second step is heat the mixture in a water bath. Next, in a test tube, fill with an aqueous phenol solution at 2 to 3 drops of neutral iron 3 chloride solution. For the observation of this experiment, two layers form, which is orange solution at the bottom of the solution and violet solution at the top of the solution. And now, I would like to explain about the experiment E. In this experiment, 2 ml of sodium bicarbonate was put in in 1 ml of phenol in a test tube. And then the observation was recorded. For the observation of this experiment, two layers form and no physical change. That's all from us. Thanks for watching.